What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Core of That. So this here is a finished product just on the driver's side. Just got back from being basically gone for two days and finally put the driver's seat in, connected everything, everything works, no airbag lights, none of that crazy stuff. Um, so obviously the leather needs time to set, but I did check, obviously, like I said, the airbag light, all the power options, um, all of the inner cushions for the bolsters, for the centerpiece, everything works like it should. And uh, here's uh, kind of a side-by-side. -side. Obviously the main difference is just the perforated leather here on the bottom cushion, the centerpiece. This is still um, basically, I shouldn't say a single, st single stitch, but this is a uh, all non-perforated on the back support. So now I have to do uh, the passenger side, but uh, yeah, all of this will eventually clear up, like all the little wrinkles, that, that's how I got the skins. If I have to, then I'll do uh, a steam session, which I have a steamer to get the leather stretched out and basically get rid of all the wrinkles. But anyway, the key here is this. What I've learned when I first did the seat uh, and what I'm gonna do to that seat is going to be all documented like I promised and I'm definitely going to teach everybody, um, let me zoom out, a lot of things about doing these skins yourself in your garage uh, and saving, you know, a lot of money, at least a thousand bucks if you, even if you purchase these skins and have an upholstery shop do it. Talk to you guys later.